Let's go over now and meet tonight's special guest, Mario J. Gabelli. Mario, welcome. We're delighted to have you here. Oh, it's a privilege to be here. Mario, how do you answer this question, when should you sell a stock? We're more oriented towards buying stocks, and we take a bottoms-up approach to picking them, Lou. As far as selling them, if we're right, they'll be taken over or liquidated out. You have said you have a target of 50% profit in two years. Is that realistic? And why do you name those two numbers? Lou, that's kind of our minimum hurdle rate before we make an investment. The numbers are very simple. Two years, because any longer than that creates too much uncertainty. Any less than that, it doesn't take enough time for the idea to work out. 50% because an individual investor on a 20% long-term capital gain rate retains 40%. That's 20% a year, 10% inflation, 10% real. We're trying to get 10% real rate of return for our clients per annum. How often do you make your own target? Uh, we've substantially exceeded that in the last five years, but that's been a bull market, Luke. How about uh, in the number of recommendations you've made? How many of them have actually gone up 50% in two years? In terms of our asset plays, uh, nine out of 10 have achieved that. That's asset plays is something I only half understand. Would you explain what that means? What we do is take a bottoms up approach to picking stocks. Sort of a half asset play, I understand. The, idea is to have uh, of what is the private market value of the company mm -hmm. looking at a company not from an earnings dynamics but from the point of view of what an industrialist would pay for the company and that's kind of our guiding light okay explain to us how that has worked in a particular case well let's take a, an example cal's communications which is on the new york stock exchange cal sells at thirty dollars a share you analyze their assets book is around twenty five liquidation value of the assets is, are around fifty dollars consisting of the properties which I call up industrialists and say, hey, what would you pay for shares of the New York Times stock, which they own? What would you pay for the two TV stations, which they own? And I add that up and I make some judgments of my own and I come up with $50, which is 70% uh, greater than the current market price of the stock. Well, that's, that's one of your current recommendations. You've also been recommending that one, to my knowledge, for five years. Yeah. It hasn't grown 50% every two years, has it? Uh, actually, we started off, Lou, as my first recommendation and uh, we started off at $14 mm -hmm. as an asset play. Mm -hmm. At that time, the asset values were in the $25, $30 area. One of the beauties of asset plays, if properly found, is that their values will grow in line with inflation. So that if there's a stretch out in time in realizing either through liquidation, sellout, or upstream merger, the values that you'll still have that 50% target incrementally from a new decision. So today, I would continue to recommend CALS as a superb example of one of my asset plays. Any other examples? I think Chris Craft, uh, Curtis Wright, well, Metco, which is new, I wouldn't have recommended this uh, four weeks ago if I were on the show. A new catalyst has emerged. I've been following the company for 14 years, and it's the first time I'm actively recommending that one. Uh, outlet Company, uh, and I've got several others that we could talk about. I want to ask you about the others, but I want to ask you this first. You say you tend to ignore the stock averages. Would you elucidate on that? Lou, my approach, again, is a bottoms-up approach. If we were sitting around this room with 10 industrialists, I would say to them, what would you pay me for this company if I would give you one bid, winner takes all? What can I get for it? I would take the company apart, piece by piece, and try to understand where the private market value of that company is versus the public market. And every day I pick up the paper and read about another takeover, it underscores my approach to picking that kind of a, a, a stock. 